Graham, you've got a theory. What's he using has gone wrong? I think um, the preparation has been wrong, Bill. I think they're suffering from um, living at altitude. Um, they've only, out of the three games, they've only played, they will only play one game at altitude, but it's living, training, having leisure time at altitude. And, and um, I've done a wee bit of research on this because after 86, the World Cup in 86, where I played with Scotland, I really suffered from it. And nobody can tell you how an individual will, will perform at altitude. Some can get away with it, some really struggle with it, and some just can't cope with it at all. Well, I fell into the third category in Mexico. In what way could you not cope with it? I just had no sparkle, couldn't run. I had no sharpness, no energy. And I believe that England have got the preparation wrong. Now, this, this is the theory, not my theory. This is, this is a lot of specialist theory that England have gone to live and train at altitude in Rustenburg. Mm. And for the first three or four weeks you're at altitude, your body is run down. Your starting point's there, your body's you're losing run. oxygen or something, isn't well, it? Well, what's, ha what's happening? Your body, you're, you're in a rarefied atmosphere, your body's demanding oxygen. What's happened? Where am I? I'm in a different environment. Your, body's, your brain is telling your kidneys, I need more, without getting too technical, EPO, which helps you produce, it's a growth hormone, which helps you produce more red blood cells, which enables you to push more oxygen through your body. So for three or four weeks, that's happening. So you're going down and down and down. And then after that period, you start to recover. Now, England are going to be at the worst possible stage they can be at for next Wednesday's game. Their body's still down there. Oh, really? They're, they're going to be in desperate trouble on Wednesday. Normally, you'd put your house on England yeah. when the chips are down. But did you see in the performance in Cape Town, which was at sea level, did you see all the characteristics? Yeah, because they're living at an, atmos an atmospheric, uh, a thin air atmosphere. Their bodies are being run down all the time in Rustenburg. And then they're going to play at sea level. But the bodies are run down. You can talk all you want about tactics. You can talk all, the, all you want about formations. All you want about this pair doesn't work with that pair. This one doesn't work with that one. Unless you're first to the ball in a football match, you're not going to play well. England, and the two games I've played, have been second to most of the mm. balls. They're never on the front foot. They never have enough of the ball. They give it away. They can't get it back quickly, which is always a sign of a fit team. If you give it away, you get it back immediately. Think of Barcelona. They give it away, they get it back immediately. They press high up the pitch, the English way, get it back and, immediately. And, and they're run down, they're, they're run, tired. Okay, well, the preparation we've... has been wrong, in my opinion. That's an astonishing thing to say, though, because you would imagine going to the World Cup that the medical team would have said, this is the right way to prepare. And they surely wouldn't make, make such a they've, they've fundamental made, error. A, they have. They have. I, I know a wee bit more than I'm prepared to say right here. Okay, all right. Let's look at, Liam, look at the performance. We have a, a couple of clips from last night.